Now the clips I'm going to show you are people who deserve to be put in this hazardous waste depot. Remember, objects are closer than they appear. Now this dump truck is coming at me. I'm thinking, okay, you just ride in a line, that's cool. So I just decide to keep going until that. Holy smokes, that does not make you feel good. And this next clip is not accidental. This car, there's a pretty big uh, traffic jam here. And this car coming up here gets by it by using the left turn lane as another lane to scoot in there. It's not the only time this happens. Right here. I pull up beside this Lexus thinking they're kind of far back, that's weird. Anyway, I didn't see their uh, turn signaling because of my pillar and boom, they just decided to push their way in. Well that's it for those three. Now, a few more of these cutoffs. Now this car turning right here would have been fine if you just stayed on that curb lane side, but like what what was that for? I have no idea. Crazy. And this person is actually even way worse. Look at the speed of merge. Is that unbelievable? Yeah, it's unbelievable because they have a completely flat tire riding on their steel rim there. And what makes you think that it's a good idea to pull out on me right there? I have no idea. Even that pedestrian's like, you got a flat tire, but buddy, stop. And of course, another one. Like really, just completely clueless. And thankfully, this one here does not involve me. So just because you signal does not mean you can go. Make sure the space is clear. And that's what happens in these next clips. And again, it's a lot closer than it appears, but it's so close. He signals and moves over, and what is on top of his car? Just because you signal does not mean it means you can go. And same thing here with this Mazda 3. Really close, lay on the horn, and they back off, thankfully. And now just a couple close calls where I get cut off. And no, I'm not swearing here. And this one, <laughs> my ABS definitely goes off. I'm not turning right here, I'm going straight. This car does not think I was going to. And and he actually stops, and I thought he was going to apologize, but instead really? he just me tells me off for honking at him. Great. So you need a permit to park in an accessible parking spot. And these spots are clearly marked with these blue kind of stops here speed bumpy type stops here and clearly there is no sticker on this vehicle and I took this next one because this is habitual this is every single time I was here this car would be parking like that blocking off the accessible parking spot and this person here is just simply just a horrible 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 parker as you can see here not only are they not really in the spot, but they're in two different spots all at the same time, front and back. Wow. So I catch way more people than I get here on these videos right now. And I always make it a point to honk, tell them to stop if I can. And they always mostly comply and they know they're guilty. And they're like, oh, I'm still okay, sorry. And then they put their phone down. Same thing with this guy here. This guy's on his phone too, dude. So please, get off your phones. Thank you. Even if you're at a stop, the thing people think is, well, I'm at a stop, I will get off my phone after I'm starting to move. But what I've noticed is that people do not do that. And this guy with his head down, I've been watching him for the past little while in the traffic. He did end up putting his phone down after I honked at him, though. For some reason, I this video was corrupted on this next one, but it basically is a Beck taxi driver going the wrong way on a one-way street. Hello, I gotcha. 
and right at the entrance is a very big sign that says do not enter and this one here like it's very it's so simple these streets are so wide yet you have to cross that center line freak me out and this was way worse because we we're going much much faster and this actually really scared me here like really really freaked me out what do you do when a fire truck comes yeah you go in front of it that's what you do idiot now this next driver I'm gonna dedicate quite a bit of time for this one because he was absolutely probably one of the worst drivers and in retrospect like again he's weaving all around not really staying in a lane uh, in retrospect, I should have maybe called 911 because I don't know if this guy was impaired and you'll see why. It's not just this weaving here. You'll see up ahead, uh, he continues to weave in and out and kind of straddle the line for a little while there. And then what's coming up next is what really blew my mind. So he finally decides, I'm going to pick a lane, maybe go in the right lane this time and approaches the back of a TTC bus, not really slowing down that much. And as the TTC bus pulls out, he does this. Like, what the hell? <laughs> it was so weird. I've never seen anybody do that before. If you know who this is, get him off the road. Now people just have to relax. You know, the traffic will flow and you don't have to pull off these bonehead moves with that car right there. Watch what he does. He goes into the oncoming lanes so that he can go around somebody who's legitimately in their left lane so that he can go around them? Really? So, of course I catch up to him. And I give him a nice finger waggle with the pointy finger not the middle one and uh, yeah he acknowledges that so anybody who knows this guy please tell him stop driving like a jerk and just be a little bit more patient and believe it or not it happens again in the same spot different car now here's this person who goes into that left lane which again you think oh wow that's not good but not horrible but this one is he's in my left turn lane going straight through unbelievable can't believe this and then this taxi in the left turn lane by the way decides to change his mind and merge into this traffic from that position yeah taxis not a Beck this time right turn lane that person's in a right turn lane but no no they're going to go left again to bypass the lineup anyway uh, I just have this really kind of funny clip here of this 18 wheeler can you guess what this 18 wheeler is going to do I just want to see well you're in the left turn lane turning left and I cannot believe what this guy does <laughs> pretty cool move for a giant truck um, Anyway, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, give me a good thumbs up. If you didn't, which people won't and make comments about that I'm whining, look at that. Woo! <laughs> I did not see that coming. I've never seen that before. Not with an 18-wheeler. Anyway, yeah. So, yeah, people will say I'm complaining and whining, but I'm just pointing out some really horrible drivers. Thanks for watching and please join me for the next Ladybug adventure.